Well, we saw a, a, a blockbuster job report this week. We saw interest rates come down, and we've also seen that uh, Vice President Harris laying out a middle-class agenda. Look, I was in Ohio yesterday, in Cleveland, in Cincinnati, um, and talking about this. Folks in, folks in Ohio know that Donald Trump's policies led to 180,000 manufacturing jobs leaving. They understand when he left office, we had more people unemployed percentage-wise than the Great Depression. What Vice President Harris is talking about is making it more affordable to buy housing. And we've seen it in Minneapolis. When you have more housing stock, We've seen rates go down. We've seen more houses available. Also, the idea of price gouging. With 37 states, Republican and Democratic states have this. Corn is about 410 or so a bushel. Um, that's, that's where it's been for many years, up and down. But prices at the grocery stores have skyrocketed, corporate profits have skyrocketed, and people are paying more. So we talk about that. And then I think the fundamental difference here is, too, is Donald Trump kept his promise. He cut taxes for the wealthiest. She's talking about making sure things like a child tax credit, $6,000 child tax credit, put more money in people's pocket, making sure that we're able to buy those things, whether it's a crib or it's baby formula, get started. And she's simply asking that we can pay for it by asking those at the top to pay their fair share. This is a, this is a fundamental difference in approaches to it, and we're seeing it working. Um, we're seeing economists talk about Donald Trump's proposal to add a 20% sales tax will cost $4,000. Okay. That's everybody. That's not yeah. me saying it.